All right, so first off, going over our histories and backgrounds with uh, Call of Duty. I yep. uh, I started playing in the World at War days after uh, the Reese had come out. Uh, okay. Had some uh, buddies here that uh, brought it over. Uh, you know, zombies was tight. Uh, and as as I've told you before, I bought an Xbox, um, whatever whatever year that was before the second Modern Warfare came out. I think two thousand nine, just to play Call of Duty. Sure. Um, okay. Yeah. That's uh, I, it was yeah. Yeah. So I know my first Call of Duty was the original uh, Modern Warfare. Um, and I got it with my 360 uh, for Christmas. And shit, that was... Well, I'm trying to find it here. That was in 2016? That doesn't seem right. Um, that doesn't seem right at all. But anyway. First Modern Warfare. Uh, yeah, for some reason that's what we brought well, up. You're looking at Modern Warfare Remastered then. If it's saying something like that. Right, I just want, and of course now it only brings up the 19, but it doesn't matter. Uh, first Modern Warfare, um, shit, I was probably, oh fuck, like, 7th grade, 6th grade, 7th grade, something like that. Um, I know initially I was kind of uh, off-putted to it, just because I didn't like the initial, like, training stage or whatever, and then you get into the bread and butter you know hunting down uh well at the time you know you're thinking oh shit this is fucking al-qaeda and crazy ass shit going on and whatever mm -hmm. and then nuke goes off in the middle of the game you're like holy fuck <laughs> 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 you know and, and shit just kind of gets real um so no it, it was it was pretty fucking nuts um i think it was right at the very beginning uh, of their huge ass peak when I got into it. Yeah. Um, t yeah like, talking about the peak and, and Modern Warfare. So I, I kind of have a memory of those days. And uh, mm -hmm. like I, I got this magazine. I think it's called like Informers, something like that. Um, yeah. Like you, back then, like you'd go into GameStop and they try and sell you on that subscription. But, anyways. Um, mm -hmm. I, I do have one of those magazines somewhere where it talks about the most anticipated games for 2007, and yeah, Modern Warfare was number one. Um, so that was, that was actually the first place I heard call, about Call of Duty, because I, I was like, what? <laughs> Where's Smash? Right. Where's... Why are these all Xbox and PlayStation and PC games? Where's, <laughs> where's the Wii games? Because, <laughs> um, yeah, at the time, that's, uh, that's what I... Have we engaged you? Um, yeah, two thousand and seven. Yeah, that's shit. Uh, long time that, ago. That was my first memory, and then yeah, it's just crazy to look back at that. Um, that they knew right away that was going to be a good game. Um, right. And then they had uh, Fallout Three all the way down at seven in the top Which, ten. That's just insane. But whatever. Yeah. But but again, it was before before it was like before these games came out. So obviously, right. um, yeah, they didn't get to play everything. And, and that that game, obviously, like, what other games do people play from 2007? Like, I think Mass Effect 3 or 2 yep. or whatever was on there, but eh. Yeah, that was not as beloved as the other two. I was never a big Mass Effect person. Yeah, um, yeah no, I mean, when I look back to, you know, now I finally fucking found it. 2007 2009 was when the big one came out i will get to i'm sure um yeah i can only re really remember my warfare fallout uh, and then obviously my my big one um was gears of war 2 came out yeah. around that time too um and then i guess uh also halo 3 but if anything, that kind of speaks to that first initial peak for Call of Duty. It topped Halo 3 easily. Because yeah. 
because everybody was talking about Call of Duty, and there was, I mean, there was still some hype because it was that was supposed to be the last Halo uh, at the time before. Obviously, they just had to uh, wring the money out of it completely dry. Um, but fuck, you know, um, yeah, it, it just outshined Halo almost instantly, which was kind of nuts as far as on the 360. Which is huge, obviously. That's that's for baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like two thousand six, uh, MLG. That was their their biggest game, Halo. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee, very, very, very close uh, second. Um, and then Nintendo didn't let them come back in two thousand seven, but uh, my my point was being that uh, yeah, Halo two. Um, was just Halo in general was huge. Um, yep. B- back in those days, and yeah, like I mean, right. It, what? Yeah. The the thing I so I don't anybody who's ever heard me talk on either my YouTube back in the day or even just on your streams know. I give Call of Duty the biggest hassle, the most shit out of basically almost any franchise, period. Um, mainly because of other things we'll get into uh, of the last couple of games. But uh, they completely changed how gaming, especially first person shooters, kind of almost work, you know? Mm-hmm. Because people were giving up on um, campaign stuff a little bit. You know, they just all wanted to go RPG style stuff, which now it is basically all that there is out there besides RPG, Call of Duty. Battle Royale, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but for a while, they had it changed, you know, for a while. They also changed the one thing I don't like <laughs> is their uh, add ons, you know, the map packs and, and yeah, shit like DLC. that that yeah the dlc which was gigantic what 15 bucks for three maps and and whatnot and zombies sometimes was even more sometimes you had to fucking even buy zombies which was like 20 dollars um i know on one game in particular um but they they fucking changed gaming quickly very very quickly they if anything, gaming is only as popular as it is now because of Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. I would say. Even like a uh, commercial or two, like 10 years ago, I can remember like, uh, I don't know, just bring it up. Oh, Call of Duty, that's like the biggest game ever. Everybody right. Everybody that a little bit. Um, what about, uh, did you ever play World of War Zombies? Uh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, that was one of those. You know, you stay in that fucking that first room as long as you possibly can. <laughs> the second room, you can only stay in for so long because it's just too too small or whatever. And then you get up onto that top floor, and you just fucking sit in that corner, <laughs> and you just don't stop shooting. <laughs> yeah. You know, and once you need to reload, two other people start shooting. You know. Yeah. Um. People, I mean, I had that shit down to a science with a <laughs> lot of <laughs> with our friends, you know, with yeah. a lot of my friends and stuff. It's like, all right, I have to reload my LMG, start shooting yours, <laughs> you know, uh-huh. before pack a punch, you know, and, yeah. and all that, which was, you know, simply times. Yeah, uh, like there was a time, yeah, when I had my Xbox World at War, um, but didn't didn't have like a ethernet cord that's something too there mm-hmm. used to be a time where you could not just go to walmart and buy the ethernet cord for an xbox or pc right like kids kids they won't they won't understand that today like or like yeah. they i remember buying the hard drive and an ethernet cord a 60 mm-hmm. gigabyte hard drive for the xbox and ethernet cord 100 bucks like <laughs> um well, I mean, shit. Kids today now won't even understand split screen half the time. I yeah. mean, now granted, Call of Duty still kind of uh, implements it in all of their games. You can do split screen, 
um, and yeah. whatnot. Yeah, uh, which is great. Doesn't always work. Uh, it's a huge hassle to even get it to work sometimes, but which is awesome though that they at least still implement it, even though it's not really ever used. Shit, when Borderlands Three came out, it was just hyped up like crazy. Oh, they're gonna have split screen. They're gonna have split screen. Call of Duty keeps on doing it, which is awesome. No yeah. game really does that anymore. Yeah, but like some of that's just how like gaming's changed. Um, yeah, like everything now, like. And I mean that's that's almost like a whole different topic because nowadays everyone spends way more money, right? Um, and everybody uh, wants to be a E three player and and, and whatnot, like, so that, like they need the full screen and shit. Yeah. And like my my thing too, like if there was a console that came out and focused on um, like like split screen and like co op and like having people over. And wasn't mm. a fuck up like the Switch, like a good game, <laughs> or like made good games. I I I definitely uh, uh, go back to console, right? Or, or both, but um, yeah. Otherwise, I just yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. Um. Yeah. No. I. I mean, I do miss those, those days. You know, back in the day, my brother and I would sit on the fucking floor, right next to each other, and try to find each other on the map, you know, and kill each other first or meet in the middle so that we know exactly where each other are. Like or 1v1? Shit. Yeah, 1v1. <laughs> but you have the, it's not like gunfight nowadays, you know, you have the big ass map. <laughs> um, and whatnot, which was always kind of a pain in the ass, but uh, that was always really fun, um, you know, back in the day. Yeah. On Crash and, and shit like that, you know. But... One of my biggest memory, though, uh, that I have with Call of Duty is uh, it's kind of the, the big one. It's for Modern Warfare 2, but the the trailer. Do you remember the trailer for it? Uh, like I've seen it, um, but I, I I I think I know what trailer you're talking about. I didn't I didn't watch it though before. It came the Eminem trailer. Uh. He does the till I collapse, and it's just the uh, they they go over the top of campaigns every single fucking year when they come out. But this one was just super over the top. They were going through all the snowmobile shit, you know, bullets flying, explosions everywhere, and right up front, I mean, I'm fucking doing his shit right over it. It probably got me the most hyped up about a game ever. <laughs> so what? With that, I, I did see a TikTok. This was, like, months ago. This was, like, over the summer when I started TikTok. Um, yep. So if you take account or if you take inflation into account, Modern Warfare 2's advertising budget is the most any uh, any developer, studio, publisher, whatever you want to say, any sure. game has ever money towards marketing for any one mm-hmm. game is uh, Modern Warfare 2 at $50 million. That's nuts, actually. Yeah. But and, here's the thing, though, is they, that probably was a extremely small percentage for what they fucking made for that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, yeah. And then just, you know, going, just everyone buying it now in the future. Uh, yeah. It, mm-hmm. it was a win. It was smart. Yeah. I mean, shit, think about it this way. Who do you know that has not played Modern Warfare 2? Yeah, right. Who wasn't talking about it at school at all times? Whether it was the campaign or just fucking fucking up squeakers or quick scoping. Well, I mean that that was the game. Back for in those days, we were the squeakers, so. though. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> but I mean, quick scoping yeah. just became the the thing. Like what? Maybe two months into it, it's like I quick scoped you from across the fucking mat, bitch. You know, <laughs> the shit talk. I'm like. Right, and then there's like you know so many things too on Facebook and TikTok about oh Modern Warfare Two lot. If you remember though, it was Xbox Modern Warfare Two lot because Xbox yes. they would give you a mic uh, with it, where PS3 uh, not a lot of people had. Mo- I, I I mean I was always told not a lot of people had mics. So. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and more or less, that's completely right. Um, but. I was a 360 player back in the day. Everybody had a fucking mic. Yeah. 
of course, back then, being the squeaker, he was all like, hey, can anybody hear me? Every fucking lobby that you're in. <laughs> because that's just what you did back in the day, you know? <laughs> yeah. And Our- nobody would answer, so you would adjust shit, and then you keep saying it, and you'd be like, shut the fuck <laughs> up! <laughs> I remember one guy, I, I don't totally remember everything he said, but he was just getting so pissed off because me <laughs> and another buddy... We're just whispering back and forth. <laughs> like, at first, not even doing it to, like, fuck with them. But then, like, he was bitching at us. So we just kept going with it. Just <laughs> whispering <laughs> in the team chat. <laughs> right. And then uh, the people playing their music, you know, as loud as they could. Fucking <laughs> moms yelling in the background, which I will say, um... <laughs> I know we're going to talk about this a lot more with Cold War, but we had the, a couple of those uh, in the last week or two. Yeah. You know? We we had somebody blasting their fucking music uh, a few, uh, maybe in two between, weeks ago. In between and, the gunfight rounds, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then we had uh, the one dude's mom was screaming at him to get off the fucking play- his PlayStation or some shit. Yeah. You know? I will say, and I, I know we're going to get into it really hard, Cold War kind of has felt a little bit like going back to the past here and there, which has yeah. been kind of nice. It's the first uh, Cold War game since the uh, uh, first Black Ops. Yeah. Uh, which uh, uh, was always my favorite Call of Duty. Um, like, if you, if you take the games into complete account, like add in the zombies, uh, yep. the first Black Ops is my... Uh, my favorite um but if you were to ask me what multiplayer do i think is still the best uh i say the second modern warfare um okay based on guns perks maps um yeah so graphics yeah so mine's super fucking complicated because um I like certain things from almost all the Call of Duties, except for one of them. Uh, I have a extremely hated Call of Duty uh, game that I used to come over all the time, and you would ask me every time because you know you would piss me off when you would. Uh, <laughs> you know how how's uh, how's Black Ops Three and blah 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 and. It, that is by far the worst Call of Duty ever. They had fucking parkour as an extra on that fucking game. You know, and the multiplayer was just horrible. The campaign is just mind boggling stupid and whatever. Um, but I will say though, as a whole, um, multiplayer wise, my favorite Call of Duty is Modern Warfare. Uh, 2019, actually. Um, maps wise, it kind of sucks because I don't feel like they had enough maps and they were just kind of redoing maps over and over. But gunplay wise, just mind blowing insane. Um, they just had it down perfect before they fucked it up. But the the night mode that they had was absolutely great because it was fucking terrifying but super fun you know when you're destroying people and they can't even see you fucking coming um the pistol fucking mechanics in that game were just insane um plus it brought into our favorite multiplayer mode gunfight which is just ridiculously fun um and just you can play that shit for hours and just not get bored even though you're doing the same fucking maps over and over and over and over um campaign wise would be my warfare too um just because i played that shit it's just non-stop just because it was so, it was so much fun um plus they also had the spec ops which is awesome <laughs> and so on so, plus I, I didn't get into zombies uh, too much until the last couple of years when we were playing Infinite Warfare, which is still my favorite zombies, even though the clown sucked on that game. 
spot. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, uh, in like one minute there, he talks about like four different Call of Duties. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Drop like well, four different bombs there. <laughs> well, that's the thing though. Each one has something specific, you know, that does something really, really well. And then the rest of the game is just trash. At least in yeah. later... In, in these later Call of Duties where they've kind of... Each of the publishers have something that they're good at doing, and the rest of it is just <laughs> not very good, you know, which maybe they need to work together a little bit better or more or something because e each one just does something better than the other, and they're just not getting it right, you know? Yeah. Um... I mean... And then, like some of some of these new, newer ones too, like uh, uh, like the snipers. I feel like sometimes mm -hmm. they're just must picks when they're sniping, yeah. and, and that was the same thing in Black Ops Two, which is why it's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will like say sniper ops too. Right, I will say though now, at least right now, maybe not. In the previous, but for Cold War, snipers kind of suck. Uh, unless you're, like, ridiculously good at them. Um, I'm not a fan, at least, of the snipers in the, the newest one. No, but, right. They, they suck for the most part, yeah, in Cold War. Yeah, uh, but yeah. Uh, MW, they were pretty, they were decent. Yep. Um, so, World yeah. War Two, they were OP. Mm -hmm. Black Ops 2. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, kind of, kind of going back in the past year. Uh, sure. Uh, you brought up Modern Warfare Two Spec Ops, and yeah, yep. those were good. One memory though, <laughs> <laughs> one just dumb ass memory about being a squeaker. The uh, so I had some kid that was helping me get. It was like five stars, three stars, or something on all the Spec mm -hmm. Ops. The snowmobile one. I kept <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> and, like, he he had already had perfect stars, so for whatever reason, this kid's just randomly helping me. Sure. I just kept fucking up in the snowmobile one, and he just kept getting just fucking more and more bitchy, and <laughs> finally he just got so upset, I just fucking left the party, blocked him. Like, dude, <laughs> it's back off. <laughs> And, like, uh, the snowmobile one wasn't too hard, but uh, I, if there's, like, different difficulties or, like, you had to do it in a certain amount of time, like, yep. playing it perfect is pretty tricky. Yeah, uh, I think that was one or two of the only ones that actually three-starred. Because, um, yeah, no, they, those ones were pretty tricky, but they were so much for fucking fun. Yeah. Even trying to do them solo, uh, which was... And some of them fucking damn near impossible, <laughs> at least at the time. <laughs> um, I do remember, though, uh, the museum. That was fucking always fun, you know? Yeah. Because, you know, you pick out your gun and shit, then you go and kill all the ones that you don't want to fucking face, and then pr fucking press the button, and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I, I do I, I remember that I love that shit I uh just just thinking about like hackers and stuff too um I don't, I don't know what's changed but like hackers back in the day they could totally fuck up the lobby versus oh, yeah. just I mean uh giving um whatever they have now, like, really good aim or being able to see people on the other side mm -hmm. of walls. I'm talking, like, you, you'd you hop in, like, a Modern Warfare 2 or World of War, and all of a sudden your guy would be going a million miles an hour. You could be shooting any gun, freaking World War Two guns. And Modern, like, it was, it was just so crazy and random. Um, Fuck yeah. Those lobbies, like... Um, but, uh, I mean, right, hackers still suck today, but it's like, I, I don't want to hop into a lobby, a team deathmatch, and, you know, I'm, I'm moving so fast, I'm at one side of the map in two yeah. seconds. Like, that, that's just dumb. Or maybe maybe one lobby, okay, but then it gets old after that, or one game, but, yeah. Right. 
Well, and even then, like, hackers are just different now, too. You know, like, we'll get into those gunfight ones where sometimes it's a, it's a fun hacker, whereas it's, it's more of a challenge to kill them than anything, um, which we've had plenty of those. Um, sometimes, though, it's the, okay, I'm just going to get half your health in the first second of the round. You're like, what the fuck, dude? Come on. You know, like, chill out a little bit. (laughs) You know, which we've had a little too much of lately. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, otherwise, though, I mean, yeah, hackers are definitely not what they they used to be, for sure. But, yeah, I mean, I I just don't know what, like, Maybe they just desire to be more or less obvious. I, I don't know, though. Um, right. Or, again, obviously just all those stupid hacks back in the day just got old. I don't know. Yeah. They can right. also fuck up your level, too. You could be level 1. You could go to go to 10th prestige, and then you could go all the way back to 1 with negative XP. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, they, they could do crazy stuff. They could even... Even if you went into a zombies game, they could fuck up your multiplayer rank. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you weren't safe, but yeah. Oh yeah, no, it, yeah, they were fucking, fucking crazy. Just, usually. Just thinking of it now, though, the that the hackers that could do that crazy stuff is a little bit more cool in the World at War days. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you ever got in those lobbies, they could just drop all the guns. There's one guy mm-hmm. again back in these days. I was a squeaker. There's one guy, Doris. There's a tower somewhere in the middle. It's like round two. The guy's up there with a sniper. <laughs> I'm like, how did you get up there? I took the secret <laughs> staircase. <laughs> what secret staircase? <laughs> and I right. played Doris like a hundred times. Like I, I knew everything, but I was still so dumb. Like, is there right. a staircase I don't know about to get up there? <laughs> um, but yeah, that guy was... Uh, that guy was just fucking with us, being super uh, casual about it. Uh, <laughs> right. You would yeah. even shoot your like your your hand would just be like a gun. Like yeah, there's there's crazy stuff back then. Right. I and mean, I feel like hackers kind of. I mean, obviously they didn't get go away because modding is just so huge and and shit like that too, which is kind of a form of it in a way. But it's more because of the crackdown that has been absolutely nuts um in the last few years but i mean it kind of goes back to what we were talking about before because everybody's trying to be the next ninja and you know get all the awards and get out high and so they'll flip shifts once they see a hacker yeah yeah uh and for us it's like you know, oh man, we gotta fucking hack to beat us and, <laughs> and blah blah blah. But then it's you know go to the next map and it's whatever. You know, it's yeah. not the fucking end of the world. If anything, it's just a another challenge and shit. But whatever. Uh, but talking, uh, about, but, talking about mods, I, I did have uh, one buddy with a modded controller, um, so he could shoot like the foul. Uh, fully automatic which is pretty cool um made the gun pretty li- little little op like i remember uh modern warfare three two on two days he could just fucking we if we get down he'd take out the foul and we wouldn't always win <laughs> but we got we got we got we definitely got better <laughs> right that way <laughs> so it's yeah it's kind of funny to think about now i play gunfight 2v2 you know with you and <laughs> bitch about those kind of people <laughs> <laughs> right i was a squeaker back then too <laughs> yeah no i the amount of people i know like modded the shit out of their controllers is just ridiculous and i had no idea you know that that shit was going on for the longest time just because i yeah because yeah. you because yeah you didn't watch youtube back then because i saw yeah. youtube videos about people doing it and then sure enough year or two later i buddy oh yeah i got one yeah and, which is nuts and sometimes it was, it was as little as like a little stupid piece of plastic yeah. you know i was just hold on to that 
the trigger so you would pull it down a little quicker uh right below it you know or some shit just the craziest shit like his but. i remember there's just one one little red button on the back uh back right side and that's what you mm-hmm. would uh that's what you would hit if you wanted your foul to be fully automatic <laughs> right yeah this absolutely nuts I think you could do that with snipers too, but with the recoil, it it wouldn't it wouldn't do you any good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that that shit was just absolutely insane. Yeah. Um, and then I mean, I guess kind of even just moving up because we were at uh, MW two. Yeah. I mean, uh, your game came out a year later. Yeah. I was so hyped for it the summer before it came out. <laughs> And and that was just one of those things where I know you don't play them the campaigns anymore, but that just kind of took another step forward. You know, like NW two took a huge step forward with their vehicles actually being able to drive. You know, and besides GTA and Halo, you just weren't really driving vehicles. You know, yeah. Um, but then you know you're driving vehicles and that, and then all of a sudden Black Ops comes out. And while you're not really driving vehicles per se, but shit, shit kind of gets real and it kind of fucks with your head, you know. And you're kind of going back and forth and diving into it and uh, and whatnot. It was just a insane campaign, you know, even crazier fucking lobbies as far as multiplayer goes. Yeah. Uh... I just remember on the first Black Ops, uh, yeah, before, before that came out too, it was literally the, like, this is not something squeakers won't remember, you gotta be like a diehard like me, the day before the game came out is when they finally announced that Zombies was back. Um, oh, yeah. Because again, up until this point, only World at War had had uh, Zombies, and like, which, again, nowadays, uh, that would, that would, I mean, they wouldn't really even have to announce Black, if Treyarch's making a Call of Duty, they wouldn't really have to announce it, but, oh, it's back just then, it was just so, it's just so dumb, they should have said it so much earlier, because Zombies was so tight, right. um, especially back then, um, uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, for Zombies in that game, did, did you uh, get to play them all, the DLC ones too? No, uh, so I played obviously the big one, Kinder Del Toro. Yeah. I can never fucking Starting say it, one. but and then uh, and then five, um, and I hated five. <laughs> I yeah, absolutely yeah, hated five. Five, yeah, and then there there was like a real easy hack too that people yeah the, on the desk the getting on the yeah the desk but, yeah. but I know they fixed that pretty quick too. Yeah, five, uh, yeah, it'll by no means go down as the best ever. Right. Which, yeah, but the the big one, though, you know, it just keeps getting remade. Uh, everybody wants to just keep playing it over and over and over, um, which is kind of the interesting part for it, at least to me, of how big that map was. You know, in terms of all the other ones. Mm-hmm. About how, you know, just how people just wanted to play it over and over and over. Um, even though there wasn't really a lot to it. You know, it was actually decently small in terms of some of the maps nowadays. Yeah. So, yeah. Because some, some of the DLC ones were duds. Uh, yeah. Shangri-La was good. Uh, I mean, just like when it was new, uh, there's the one, um, uh, where there, where they, it was like the first ever zombies map where they added a boss zombie, uh, and this was on like some movie set or something, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, snowy place. That one was a dud. (laughs) (laughs) Um, but then there was Ascension and that, that's the one, uh, uh, that's what people really like. Yeah, uh, that that's one to get your hands on uh, someday. If they ever, you know, do like Black Ops One 
uh, remastered or HD or whatever. Um, right. That's one we're we're definitely playing. But, um, <laughs> problem though, or one one little, little story with Black Ops One. Uh, oh section. boy. Um, so, I I remember back in those days too, like the leaderboards actually like worked and people actually looked at them like uh and i don't know just i had a lot of xbox fans right or mm-hmm. friends i mean not fans some some of these people good or a good percentage went to school uh with me some of them you know just random people online and <laughs> like ugh, i i would take every map so serious because i want to be number one number one in solo number one in duos number one in squads right um uh so ascension that one uh there was one game we made it to 42 but but basically in our heads me and another guy uh you know we we had beat it because like we 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 just gave up because this is like an it was like we started playing eight in the morning on a sunday and (laughs) it was like three o'clock on a sunday and you know we we just we we couldn't take anymore uh right uh, which is crazy to think about. It took us that long to get to 42 because now you can get the third or like almost 30 over and over again. And, uh, the new zombies and like, Oh uh, yeah. Do that over and over again, four or five hours where, yeah, that just shows, um, uh, back in the day, the maps were, or the zombies, maybe not harder, maybe not easier, but, but the rounds took longer. It took more to kill. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Definitely. Cause like, we, we just felt like we beat it because, like, we weren't going down. And, like, I had my circle. He had his circle. So, eh. It just, right. it, it was, it was what it was. Um, and as, as hype as that was, making it to 42, way further than anyone else in the friends list on any of the other maps. <laughs> uh, I, I lost a passion to actually, like, try in zombies for such a long time. Because I was like, all you got to do is run a circle. Which, yep. which nowadays obviously that sounds so obvious but but again it, it was it was just so different back in those yep. days um yeah i do like that nowadays is like the the developers know all you're gonna do is run in a circle yeah and so like now with uh firebase z they know that's what you're gonna do so those uh the the big one um the first initial monster right he'll just pop up out of nowhere right in front of you uh at some points you know or even like the really slow dude that can get you in two shots you know he's slow and so you're gonna when you're running that circle you're gonna fucking see him three or four times you know before Mm -hmm. it's actually time to take him on so they they're combating it as much as they can and i know in advanced warfare they basically made it so you couldn't uh circle them because there was just no way because they could fly at you you know they could there was no way to actually run them you know yeah. and stuff so uh they they've definitely done a lot to combat that which is kind of nice yeah. um at times right or, yeah it, it adds something um yep. or else yeah I, I just i don't know but I yeah. will say, though, uh, in terms of like just black ops, just in general, this uh, besides MW three and maybe yeah no MW three uh, that was my last Call of Duty for a little bit. Yeah, so for me, yeah, MW three, but like most of the time, uh, this. The third Modern Warfare was out. I was playing the. F- I, I I went back to the first Black Ops. Yeah, I, I didn't. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I don't think like I ever actually Modern played it. Even back in those days, I was like, yeah, Modern Warfare Two is still a little bit better. And like, yeah. okay, here's like a big, big, big <laughs> pet peeve. Like oh, something that triggers me so much. Like back in when Modern Warfare Three came out. It was just like the biggest battle in the world. Modern Warfare 3, whatever battle. I think Battlefield was even on 3. And uh, nowadays. History, yeah. Nowadays, um, it, it's just like P- 
people totally forget that the whole Call of Duty Battlefield thing was back then. Because I, I just feel like now Modern Warfare 3 is looked at as like such a good game. But no, it, people were so divided. Um, right. Because, yeah, I mean, Call of Duty was king until... Oh, I, yeah, probably still was king. But, like, yeah, you know, it was not uncommon to find people that just wanted no no part of it and youtubers bashing it or yeah going back and forth right uh, that's that's unfortunately like my biggest memory with modern warfare 3 is just the people that you know i'm a battlefield player yeah. call of duty's unrealistic <laughs> so, i mean that, that's what they said <laughs> right well and my you know, the only thing i actually legitimately remember about Modern Warfare 3 is uh, in the campaign, uh, most of it was in the United States, and they were just destroying all the monuments, you know, like all around the world and shit. Yeah. And, and there was like this big ass uh, gas attack, you know, it was killing the world or some shit. Honestly, that's the only thing I remember. That's it. Um, yeah, that's how little I fucking played it. <laughs> and, you know. and, and then, like, none of the guns were really that that memorable. Mm-hmm. I was pissed off. I guess the one thing that pissed me off about uh, First Black Ops was when they got rid of my favorite perk that the OGs would remember, Stopping Power. And then <laughs> um, they didn't have it again in Modern Warfare 3. And, yeah, every... I mean, that's why every gun felt a little weaker than what it was in Modern right. Warfare 2, World at War, the first Modern Warfare. Um, right. And even to kind of go back just a, a little bit, to, yeah. c- just because you br- bring up stopping power, the uh, biggest reason Modern Warfare even got as big as it did was because, you know, whether it was in the campaign or it was in multiplayer, you know what you can do with your fucking guns that you couldn't do in any other fucking game? Shoot through a fucking wall that was yeah. made out of wood. <laughs> you could actually shoot through shit like a real fucking gun. <laughs> that, yeah. I know when I did that initially in the campaign with my sniper rifle of all things, I shot through a fucking door and a dude fell down. I was like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is the shit. Yeah. You know, because it actually felt realistic. Like, I was actually playing a legitimate game that was real, you know. So, um, <laughs> you're bringing up the whole shooting through walls. Yep. People that played the first Black Ops with me know if there's one gun I <laughs> despise dying to, <laughs> refuse to ever use, would rather use a pistol than pick up a, uh, than this gun. The mm-hmm. M60 in uh, the first Black Ops. <laughs> just because I would, I would, right, just the shooting through walls with that gun was fucking ridiculous. Yep. Uh, and like, it, it's hard to explain unless you like played the game, but like, I don't know, I'd just be at the ran- most random places, hidden, <laughs> and lit up by that stupid fucking gun. Everybody used the fucking M16. It was either that or the AK. <laughs> yeah. Um, my favorite though in that game was uh the commando. Everyone, everyone just knew that was my gun. <laughs> Played with me, commando, and I had the red on there. Uh, the red skin, and my clan tag was Bloods. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. No. <laughs> that was Squeaker Vince. <laughs> 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 oh man, I, I wish I could hear the reaction nowadays. <laughs> Especially if you ran into like a, a legitimate like crypt or something in it. <laughs> He's just getting lit up by this guy. <laughs> just want to be blood. <laughs> oh man, that would be just fantastic. <laughs> just fourteen-year-old blood <laughs> want to be. <laughs> Um, uh, so yeah, I, I guess keeping going, um, 
the end of Modern Warfare 3, they added in the 2v2 mode. That was cool. Again, kind of brought up playing that with a buddy. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the thing is, though, it was nothing. I, I, I like that. But I love gun gunfight. Like oh, th yeah. those are two things. There's a reason gun or two v two was not brought back to uh, Black Ops two, the next Call of Duty, and then ones after that. Um, just because like that it was like two v two team deathmatch. Maps were a little big, so it's a little slow paced. Where gunfight right. is fucking fast paced. Don't know what yep. gun you're gonna use the next round or every every other round or whatever. Um yep. uh, yeah. It just yeah, totally different experiences. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I know. Gunfight is just ridiculously good. You know. It is like the greatest thing Call of Duty's added since since like zombies. <laughs> right. And they they really need to start improving it a little bit more because we're gonna lose out on a lot of people playing it, which is gonna suck for us especially. Right, so um, the people that play know what the fuck they're doing. Right, and I mean my biggest peeve of it is there's just no maps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, um, like they they're they're totally butchering the having what five maps and one of them's Nuketown. Yeah, like, which I actually kind of like the Nuketown yeah. aspect of it because it's it's just it's just small enough. If it was any bigger, it'd be ridiculous. Yeah, but it is. Right. That'd be a little bit too big. Yeah, it is like just small enough for it to work. Um, but but yeah, they're gonna they're gonna butcher it. Um, but even kind of going with that, what was the? It was one of the biggest things they added. Uh, I forget which Call of Duty they actually added it onto. I know Ghost kind of kept it going, um, but it was where you could wager. Oh, that was the first Black Ops. Yeah, was it the first Black Ops? Yep. I like that. That was um, – actually, I take that back. That was probably uh, – well, <sighs> wager matches is cool, but gun gunfights kind of oh, yeah. on a whole other level. Absolutely. Um, but when they like, like implemented that, it was like a whole new yeah. like, all right, I gotta be the best type of thing. Yeah. You couldn't spend that money on anything. <laughs> yeah. Guns, um, attachments, skins. They yep. they did the they did the money in Black Ops One really, really well. I don't yeah. know why nothing wrong with the leveling system or getting enough kills for a certain attachment, but I'm kinda surprised it went back to that. But maybe right. they, they think, oh, you'll play more. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, kind of going in from there. So, Modern Warfare 3, Don. Um, uh, your biggest one. <laughs> My biggest. <laughs> well, Black I, Ops 2. Okay, so I, I, just, I just hate it when people are just, like, giving it the crown nowadays. Like, like again... I, I give the crown to Modern Warfare 2, and there's people out there with me. I, again, just talking about multiplayer. Just yeah. not not complete game, just multiplayer. And then, like, there's a, several people that felt that way for the first Modern Warfare, which I didn't have as big a problem with. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, Black Ops 2, man. Like, there's just, there's just times, like, even the biggest diehard Black Ops 2 fan, like, where you just have to use the sniper because everyone on the other team is. You're not just gonna run free, like mm -hmm. yeah. And some some of that was uh the map design sure. was flawed. Um which I I remember we played raid and the first like two minutes I just went off about the design <laughs> when we were playing uh uh the hiding game, I'm blanking on the name, prop hunt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the zombies was still good in that though. I'd uh, it's still like sixty dollars on Steam. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, one, one one day you get a PC and that goes down. Uh, love to hit those maps again. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. But so correct me if I'm wrong. Black Ops Two was where you almost earning the currency to unlock guns and attachments and shit, right? And perks? 
Uh, I know for sure Black Ops 1. 2... I think 2 was more so. It was like a fucking hexagon currency or some shit. So I... I don't even think I actually really even played 2. I played 2 a very, very little bit at a buddy's house. And that was it, honestly. So I don't really have too much to say. Um... I know it was either, yeah, you were using either the sniper or you were running around with the shotgun. <laughs> and, oh, and that yeah, was yeah. it. The, the shotgun was Remington, huge. The Remington shotgun, that thing, that that's probably the all-time greatest shotgun in uh, in Call of Duty. <laughs> and I don't think that's a hot take. Ooh, I think the 525. Was... Well, it's the Remington was like the 725, but the Remington <laughs> had like seven or eight shots instead of two. Oh, uh, uh. Yeah, that was the set. That's seven twenty-five. Oof. Yeah, but even then, I, I think the Remington even had a little bit more range, but uh, definitely, definitely beat it with the with the extra ammo. Um, uh, that that's so funny that uh, you bring that up because I I remember a buddy in Black Ops Two telling me, because uh, he had played it quite a bit more before I started playing it. Dude, mm-hmm. dude, just start using Remington. It's crazy in this game. I'm like, eh, right. shotgun? Because uh, previously <laughs> in Modern Warfare 3, I wasn't in love with the shotguns. Black o- the first Black Ops, the shotguns were terrible. <laughs> just like Cold War and just kind of, I don't know. Were, were shotguns just notoriously bad in the Cold War or something? Like, why why does Call of Duty just, like, m- you know, mock them? <laughs> I don't, Almost, I don't know. like anyway, yeah. Uh, but yeah. But like, still, like there are some maps. Again, like it just, uh, I just couldn't approach with the shotgun because everything was so open. I had to use the sniper. But yeah. Um, and then I, I know people too. For anyone says I suck, I actually had a better KD in Black Ops Two than Black Ops One. I just, I just didn't enjoy. It. Being forced to use a sniper rifle, and then uh, go, to go back in time a little bit, uh, Modern Warfare Two, because uh-huh. uh, like I, I know on TikTok some people, oh snipers were almost must use in that one, yeah, but like the noob tube kind of counted that, and right. like some people, uh, eh, you know, felt the noob tube was too good, but like, uh, <laughs> okay. Modern Warfare 2, like, this is going to be a big statement. (laughs) Modern Warfare 2 is the Super Smash Bros. melee of the Call of Duties. Everything in that game was, everything in that game was dangerous. You look at someone the wrong way in Modern Warfare 2, they will die. (laughs) SMGs had the um, uh, assault rifles, the last AK, they literally made you unlock the AK the last round because that thing was dynamite. Um, yeah, I best thing that's going on tar. TikTok. Yeah, personally, I like the tar in that one for assault rifles. T Bone's assault rifle, um, and again, all the assault rifles you could throw on a grenade launcher. Oh, and that grenade launcher, man, that thing was so fucking good. <laughs> there was, there was, you, you would literally make a grenade launcher class and just set the world on fire on some maps like Terminal, Wasteland, right. um. Uh, but yeah, snipers were good. I remember the 50 cal, but yeah, just every, the spaz, A12, they had shotguns. Everything was good. That's why it's the melee. Everything was dangerous. (laughs) 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 Um, but yeah, I I don't know if you ever had an opinion on like uh, the new tubes in Modern Warfare 2, if they were too good or too... Oh, a lot of people say that. Yes and no. Um, My whole thing is, as long as it's realistic, I don't really fucking care. Like people will freak out because they'll get one shotted by RPG. Yeah. Well, what the fuck do you think's gonna happen to you? (laughs) Hit by RPG in real life? (laughs) You're gonna get fucked up. (laughs) Yeah. You know, so I I never had an issue with that personally. as long as it's realistic, you know. Um, so that 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 never bothered me too much. So um, 
you know, talking about the grenade launcher, your man, uh, White Boy, claims to have the fastest nuke because because of the grenade launcher on an assault rifle. You know, just pop to it, pop, pop. Got his seven kills, Harrier, blah, 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 to a nuke. Um, uh, but, yeah, I'm just saying, uh, your man, White Boy. Uh, your man? No, he, no, your man. I don't, I don't know like why he's You don't like Call of Duty. He bashes it. I, yeah, I, I, I know I don't like Call of Duty. It's different. It's different, <laughs> though. He still I love uh, about the first Black Ops. Just so. uh, <laughs> My Call of Duty. White Boy should love Call of Duty. He got, the only reason he has a career is because of Call of Duty. And he doesn't even have a fucking career anymore. Yeah. But... Um, so the next one is going to be more of a, Debatable uh, like, one. yeah, uh, cause personally I liked it and I know a lot of people really hated it yep. for whatever reason. Uh, but Call of Duty Ghost. Yeah. So like, that's another one where a new Battlefield game, it came out that same year and mm -hmm. everyone was just divided opinions everywhere. Uh, so that was uh, Battlefield it, 3 or 4, right? Maybe yeah, 4? I think 4. Yeah, no, a lot of people say that's the best Battlefield to ever be released, even though it's glitchy as all hell, um, has a million problems, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think Modern yeah. Warfare 2 and the second Battlefield came out at the second time, and then, yeah, it was like 3 and then 4. But like Battlefield Two and Modern Warfare Two, there there wasn't that that war. It was everyone knew which was better, and yeah. Because nobody liked Bad Company. No, that was the thing. Yeah. Everybody was hyped about it, but nobody liked it. Yeah. Uh, um, I like Ghost. Um, yeah. I thought the multiplayer was pretty balanced. Um, every Call of Duty has its problems as far as balancing issues and shit like that but i think especially towards the end of its lifeline uh it was probably one of the more balanced call of duties uh the maps weren't that bad i actually liked a couple of them and i see certain aspects from some of their maps and a lot of the newer maps uh which is kind of nice mm -hmm. especially in the uh more previous modern warfare um Campaign was really good, except that it leaves you on the biggest cliffhanger in the world because they were expecting people to <laughs> really like ghosts. Uh, Eminem was even rapping about it. Yeah, and uh, I'll never, I'll never be able to finish that campaign, uh, which actually kind of sucks because it was one of those uh, brother on brother fights, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I'll never know the end to it, which kind of sucks because they'll never make a ghost, which. To me, is a is actually kind of a huge shame because I, I actually really like ghosts. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I I, I like ghosts too. Uh, Strike Zone, I believe, was the name uh, of like the small map that everyone liked. Strike Zone twenty four seven. That that game mode, because uh, it was always a thing after, yeah. uh, uh, like months after the game was released. It was just always a game mode. I I literally like prestige and then like half of another prestige just playing that game mode didn't you you would know the the maps in that game better than me because i just i just played that i yeah um uh, that one for guns i uh, had a couple of classics one was called the honey badger and then there was a smg mm -hmm. that was real good everyone used uh, i'm blanking on the name i have um, no idea but yeah it was it lit people up, but oh, again, they'll never, they'll never remake Strike Zone. Mm -hmm. because, oh, everyone is from Ghost. But, oh man, Ghost, or I mean, uh, Strike Zone, very, right. very underrated map. Yeah, it's, and then another one too. Like <laughs> every freaking topic, we got to bring up Modern Warfare Two somehow. <laughs> what did you ever play? Do you know what map is High Rise? In Modern Warfare 2. Oh, hell yeah. That map never been remastered. That that map was the shit. Like, 
Absolutely. Oh uh, like they've remastered Terminal, which is good, which I yep. liked. But like, I like Terminal. High Rise is dope. Like Call of Duty, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't remaster like Favela uh, and stuff like that too. And so they brought their own little versions of Favela here and there. Yep. Um, I- I'm surprised they didn't actually just remaster all the fucking maps. They might as well. They were all uh, classics. It, and and then I remember that like towards the end of the Modern Warfare 2019, they brought back uh, Scrapyard, which mm-hmm. was a good map. Yep. Uh, felt better in the second Modern Warfare, but <laughs> yeah, like it was good. But no one would if they would have put out a poll what map, what maps they want, um, what map they should remaster next after they had remastered Terminal. And then they, uh, they had done Rust too, but whatever. Well, I'll right. get into Rust in a second. High no Rise crash. would have destroyed um, uh, that that poll. Oh, yeah. Everyone, I don't know. I, I don't know then, anybody like, that doesn't some, like that map. Yeah. And then, like, they, they had the voting too. When yep. won, like, High Rise, just like Terminal, that, those two would always win. <laughs> um, I, uh,. uh I do think in the next like maybe couple of years they should do a collector's edition or something for Call of Duties, um, where it's maybe just a strictly multiplayer only or something like that, mm-hmm. and they do all of the the big maps um, from fuck it all the Call of Duties, just throw them all into one, remaster all of it. You know, and then just yeah. bring in the classic guns. Find a way to make some so that it's, you know, the futuristic guns aren't going to be ridiculous compared to, you know, yeah. um, and Pretty whatnot. They should, guns. Yeah. Right. They, they should figure out a way to kind of do something like that because, honestly, that that's just going to be, like, the ultimate clapback, you know. it's yeah. These are the best. Have at it, you know. Mm-hmm. But they never will. But they should. But they uh, definitely should. That that would be like that would be like a dream come true. Just like, a, <laughs> um, I don't even know what you title that. Like, a, almost like a celebration of Call of Duties. Right. Um, so another thing, uh, with Modern Warfare Two and back in the day, and mm-hmm. like so, like they remastered Rust. There was a lot of hype for it. But, yep. like, Rust, like, yeah, you kind of 1v1 there, but, like, you just didn't play, like, game modes there that often ever. And, like, I don't know. It just it, w- it wasn't that hype. It's was just, it just, like, the, the 1v1 map. Yeah. Like, it just... It's, and it was it definitely not it was a the same thing map. in yeah. Modern Warfare 4. Or, I mean, Modern Warfare 1. Right. Yeah, it just definitely wasn't the map that you always wanted to play. Because all you did was die, kill yeah. one or two people, die, kill yes. another couple of people, die. <laughs> spawn um, die, spawn die. Yeah. yeah. And then, I will, the one thing that we never uh, brought up, and it means for a good reason, because it sucks, the survival modes. No, in Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, uh, just Call of Duty, just period. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, Marvel for three started, and it was really big for a month, two months maybe. Yeah, and then that was it because at, at a certain point you just can't get any further on it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just too impossible. You're shooting down fucking helicopters while juggernauts are coming at you, and and that's it. You know, um, it's definitely not no zombies. Yeah, it's like instead of doing spec ops, it's like they wanted to rip off and do some kind of zombies. And yeah, it just to me, it was just a little tedious. I, I know a couple other people that wanted to play it more, and I was just like, eh. Right. You and it's something, <laughs> yeah, it's something that I'll try when I see it, you know, after I've done everything else. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, all right. How is this? You know, did they fix some things? Is it better? I know in Modern Warfare 2019 they had it, and I played it a couple times, and it just wasn't very good. <laughs> mm-hmm. And of course, they put it on one of the biggest maps that they have in the fucking game. 
Um, it, it's just not a very good mode. Um, they definitely need to do something to fix it. Um, but yeah, nobody talks about it because it's just not very good. <laughs> yeah. So, you didn't talk about. Yeah. Um, but moving on from those, 